Well, <coughs> fuck. <coughs> oh, shit. Hello, everyone. It is I. Everyone's favorite jack of all trades with a foul mouth. Commodore Urban. And this is part six. I think it's fucking part six. I don't know. I think it is. Anyway, this is the sixth part to my build of the one 400 scale RMS Titanic by Academy. This is the premium edition with LED lighting. And yeah, I'd actually, another thing I want to tell everyone, thank you for subscribing. If you're new to the channel, you like what I'm what doing, subscribe please. And for everyone that already has, enjoy the video. So before I started this, I felt like crap. I took a big massive shit, now I feel better, so. Now I feel good for doing this. Anyway, a little bit has been done since last update, which you can see the Titanic is partially together. It's not glued. You can see some of the decks are falling in on itself. But I have finally got this thing to light up. See, I figured that out. So, what have I been doing since? Well, I've been working with some of the parts. I got painted. I painted some of the parts, like I painted the funnels, the funnel tops, I painted the bollards, and I have also painted the uh, these two smaller capstans, which go on the forecastle, and these three cargo, and these three winches, which go on the forecastle deck itself. The rat lines, the bracing for the funnels, and these plastic chains will not be used since I have photo etch parts and real chain for that. And also on the white, I have been adding the railing on the bulkhead walls. I did that with a black permanent sharpie. I've actually fucked up. I had fucked up on a few parts where I overdid it and so I had to scrape the paint off and I got to repaint it white to cover over the bald spots. But it's turned out pretty good. Now I just got to add little gold bits on the ends of the railing caps where there's little railing like gold balls on the ends of the railing joints, here, you know. I got to do that. I did a bit of the railing on these pieces here, which kind of looks like shit, and I gotta fix that. But this won't matter too much, because this lower portion here is brown. It's gonna be like a milk chocolate honey brown. This little piece will go right there. So, and I've, like I said, I painted all of these bulkhead structures white. <sighs> I'm not done with none of this shit yet. Not done none with the clear yet. But I will only be using the the hatch covers, which is the four hatch cover. These four hatch covers and the two domes. This, this, and this will be chucked in the trash. And I don't know if I'll chuck it in the trash, but it won't be used. Uh, let's see what else have I been doing. Um, I still have to dirty paint these two pieces and get them detailed. And I still have to dirty paint this, that, and that. Oh, that reminds me, I've been putting together structures. I've been putting together some of the walls together to build up some of the deck houses for the boat deck. Here's the one, the biggest deck house on the Titanic, which included the wheelhouse captain's quarters, all the officer's quarters, the Marconi room, uh, the gymnasium, <sighs> son of a bitch, I'm tired guys, the grand staircase, the entrance to the grand staircase, and the uptake for number one and two funnels. I've also did the railing on these pieces, some of it I fucked up, I gotta touch it up, clean it, and do some painting, I gotta do some dirty painting up here. I got a photo edge and wood decking to this to finish it off. 
but there was something I did do though that um, was pretty interesting and some of you might want to take note on this when you put this deck house together uh, right here uh, you see this right here step 12 you see these five pieces C13 C12 C2 C3 and C30 that's what that piece looks like here okay in part C12 there is a small little window which that's actually was there on the Titanic and also another part I dealt with on the superstructure here was C14 which has two windows on this original part there is a solid wall there the one you put windows on a part there is a solid wall and that goes for the same with G12 there's a solid wall here and I'm thinking but I want those windows to light up so I did something on the solid wall up here I drilled that big ass hole right there so that when I put the part in place it'll be seen through and the light will shine through it and that solid wall right there that was on part C50 I actually cut it off I left a nub here and I left a nub there so that you can see through those windows so that when the lights were kicked on if I can get it set on the deck here for a moment see there's the deck see see those lights will come through and you can see the light in that small window so that's the reason why I done that so take that off and I also went ahead and built the aft the second class entrance which is a big hole here because this piece here there's two windows one here and one here but those weren't there originally I had to drill those out and that would go on there there's a wood piece that's gonna I'm gonna make put on the top here before I put that on paint and detail it up and that'll be ready there is the engine the housing for the shaft for the reciprocating engine room there's photo etch that goes up on this and some piping and some railing and detailing I have to finish that up there's the base for the fourth funnel there's a big piece of photo etch that goes on here I got dirty paint and detail it and there's the third funnel house casing there's a piece of photo etch and some other little stuff that goes on there which that look cool one's all done but I got dirty paint and put the photo etch and the wood in place uh, let's see um, speaking about wood decking I don't have a lot of that shit left I about did all of it I just went ahead and installed the wood decking on the stern that's done that's probably awesome and I also went ahead and installed the wood decking that beyond that point so the only wood decking left I have to put on the deck is on the aft well deck the forward well deck and the forecastle on the forecastle and those are just some of the miscellaneous parts and shit I'm working with and of course I got my photo etch speaking about photo etch I just recently got enough money and I went ahead and ordered a set of the window frames from Tom's Model Works and I should be getting those in any day any day I should be getting those and when I get them and do another update I'll show you guys the windows and I'll be glue I'll be painting I'll be painting those windows and I'll be putting them on all of the bulkheads so I don't have to spend all that fucking time painting each window by hand which is a load of garbage fucking it takes a long time to do that I did it with that one up there and I'm not fucking doing it again so yeah there you have it guys it is all of the recent updates to the 1 400 scale Academy RMS Titanic premium edition with LED lighting if you have any questions or comments leave them in the comment section below and I'll get back with you and as always 
if you're new to the channel, you like what I'm doing, hit the subscribe button and turn on your notifications, and you will never miss a video. Until next time, this is the Jack of All Trades with the Foul Mouth, Commodore Urban, saying have smooth seas and clear skies, and happy sailing with you, and God bless. Take care now. Bye-bye.